how many times have you seen an influencer who doesn't even really have real skincare issues that they want to treat? Sometimes we laugh, sometimes we cry, but I guess you know now. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Cece, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. I hope that you would stay, subscribe, and become a part of the Fashion Sista family. Here over on my channel, I show you how to be your baddest bitch at an affordable cost, and today we are talking about skincare. I'm so excited to be talking about this video. One, you guys have been commenting on so many of my videos, asking me what I'm using on my skin. Really, just ask me about my skin, period. If my skincare diary video is what brought you to my channel, here's the update. I do wanna let you guys know in that video, I'm pretty sure I was very specific about the products that I was using. I hate clicking on people's video, getting clickbait, and sitting through the whole video and then realizing that I didn't get the information that I came and clicked on. I don't wanna do that to you guys, so I just wanna let you all know up front now before you click out, hear me out. How many times have you asked someone what they're using on their face to try and solve your own skincare issues? How many times have you seen an influencer who doesn't even really have real skincare issues that they wanna treat? Products that they're using or they sell you on this product that you never see them use in any of their other content. You purchase the product and either the product A breaks you out or you're consistent with it and you still don't see results. Skincare is not that universal to the point where just because someone may have the same skincare issue as you, that doesn't mean that that specific product from that specific brand is going to also work the same on you. This video is gonna be more about the importance of ingredient knowledge, knowing exactly what it is that you're trying to treat and being consistent. So I wanna share with you guys some of the ingredients that I've been incorporating into my skincare routine as well as the treatments. And nothing else, I feel like since I've been in esthetician school, it has been beat into my head the importance of ingredient knowledge because literally that is the game changer when it comes down to skincare and knowing how to properly treat your clients but also maintaining your own skin. So if you guys are interested in hearing what I have to say or just wanting to know more about my skincare update, please keep watching. It's been a long time coming but we get in here. My skin has improved so much, y'all. And honestly, really since I've gotten in school, I've learned so much about ingredient knowledge, product knowledge, and I almost want to kick myself for the mistakes that I was making when it came down to my skin or thinking that I really knew what I was doing with my skin before I started esthetician school. I think that we get caught up so much in seeing someone else have skin that we truly admire and we want our skin to look like that, that the first thing we're ready to ask for is what product you use and what brand is that? What brand is that? How much is this? How long? Like, and skincare doesn't necessarily work like that. Your skincare journey is always gonna be different and tailored literally to you. Just because a product worked on someone who has the same skincare concern as you does not mean that that product is gonna work for you as well. I'm probably gonna say that about 8,000 times in this video, but I truly need you guys to understand that. I want to encourage you all, if you can, um, go to your doctor, have them do an allergy test on you. Figure out what you're allergic to, so that way when it comes down to getting skincare routines formulated, you can know how to properly consult with your esthetician or your dermatologist and also to make sure they're not recommending products to you that might contain ingredient that's going to solve one issue but then cause an issue on the back end because that product contains an ingredient that you're allergic those over-the-counter products that you're getting from your local walmart walgreens all of that other stuff if it's not professional grade meaning it has a high percentage of an active ingredient Personally, as someone who suffers from hyperpigmentation, discoloration, acne, and acne scarring, the ingredients that have truly made a difference in my particular skincare journey have been glycolic acid, salicylic acid, lactic acid, citric acid, kojic acid, hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, of course, and stem cells. 
When it comes down to your skincare, you need acids. You can't avoid acids because that's what's going to truly get down into the skin and get to the root of the issue to help you truly see change. If I use a product specifically like a serum or a free acid that has salicylic acid in, before I put on like my other like nourishing serums or my moisturizer, I like to end my acid routine with a salicylic acid. And also because it neutralizes glycolic acid because baby, you don't want to just put something on your face and put glycolic acid on it and not use anything else to neutralize it because that can create a whole nother issue. Specifically for my hyperpigmentation babies, kojic acid is our friend. Now I will recommend one specific product to you guys and I'm have it linked down below in the description box. It is Koji San soap. It is a kojic acid soap. You guys might have seen videos of it where people are using it to brighten their elbows and get rid of like the darkness around their neck, their elbows, underarms, knees, feet, wherever they're having dark spots at. Anybody I've recommended that product to, it has truly helped and changed the game for them. Kojic acid is a brightener. It does not bleach or lighten your skin in a way that a hydroquinone would do, but kojic acid is amazing. It just, if you have blemishes or dark spots, you definitely want to make sure you are using a product that contains a kojic acid. Citric acid is probably a little bit better for those of you guys who may have more of a sensitive skin type, but definitely you want to get a product that contains kojic acid. It definitely helps with the brightening and evening out the skin tone. And honestly, that's the reason why a lot of those I used to have very bad dark patches. Like you guys can even see on the side of my face how like this patch that used to be one continuous thing is starting to break up on the skin because of my kojic acid and making sure that I'm consistent with using it at both day and nighttime. And you probably should really use it at day, but um, I still do because I wear sunscreen and I'm typically in and not under like harsh sunlight or lighting throughout the day. So I like to use my kojic acid at both daytime and nighttime. Now, when it comes down to keeping your skin moisturized and keeping your skin looking youthful, I do have oily combination skin type, so my skin's probably always gonna look youthful. Personally, I love hyaluronic acid. You guys know I did the L'Oreal True Match Nude Hyaluronic video, and y'all know I love that foundation. It just makes my skin feel so good, so light, and so airy, but I do love a good hyaluronic-based moisturizer also vitamin c throughout the day to help brighten the skin and in making sure it does not matter how bright or not bright the sun is put your damn sunscreen on it don't and i want to break this myth of black people feeling like just because we're black and our skin can essentially handle the sun better you still need to put sunscreen on especially if you're someone who suffers from hyperpigmentation because all it's going to do when you go out into the sun without sunscreen is make those blemishes darker where you're let's jump into actual facial treatments that have changed the game for me hands down i'm gonna talk about my favorite one microdermabrasion babes when i tell you she is the one Microdermabrasion gets your girl right. I love a good microderm. I know that having an esthetician sometimes can be a bit pricey. My recommendation, y'all know I teach y'all how to be y'all baddest bitch at an affordable cost. So maybe try and find like an esthetician on Groupon, look at reviews and you know, see what it is. But for people who have like hyperpigmentation or acne scarring, microdermabrasion is going to be your best friend because it definitely helps with the appearance of like fine lines with wrinkles with scarring like I've had this mark on my head for so long and if you go back and older videos you can probably see that this was like way darker way more visible and since I've been more consistent obviously because I am in school with my skincare routine and getting microdermabrasions this scar has just been fading away and I'm so excited about it so I love a microdermabrasion the next treatment I want to talk to you guys about is a hydrodermabrasion. 
So whereas a microdermabrasion is literally sanding down the skin, hydrodermabrasion also exfoliates the skin, but it hydrates it. It's literally a suction tip that helps pull all the blackheads, whiteheads out of your pores. It opens the pores up so that way as you're deep cleansing the pores and hydrating it, you can also put like a serum in it and infuse the serum into your pores, which is another way of getting your getting the nutrients and the ingredients that the skin needs to help create change and to give you more healthy, more glowing, more youthful, brighter skin those two those are my favorite favorite types of skincare treatments outside of pills as well but specifically if I gotta choose and only go with two treatments that I feel like that have gotten my skin thus far it's definitely hydrodermabrasions and a microdermabrasion I know like I kind of only spoke for people who have hyperpigmentation but what I want to do is leave you guys with a book suggestion there is an ingredient book that you guys can purchase off Amazon or I believe you can get it on Kindle um, we definitely talk about it a lot and use it a lot in school so I'm gonna leave that link down below in the description box as well along with the Koji sign soap if you guys want to check it out once you go to your doctor if you already have an allergy list formed and you know what it is that you're allergic to looking in that ingredient book um helps you understand where things are derived from so even i and i definitely don't mind like if you guys want to ask me questions like hey this is what i suffer with what ingredient do you feel like i need what or what type of acid what ingredient do you feel like i need to incorporate to my skincare routine i definitely don't mind helping you guys with those if you guys are anything like me and like to do a lot of your own research and know things for yourself and not just relying on the opinions of others not knowing rather not the information that someone is giving you is facts i'm definitely going to leave that book down below in the description box for you guys too. what i want to do for you guys that made it to the end because i know this video is probably long or kind of all over the place i want to help you guys on your journey as someone who is in school to become an esthetician I know that those type of services can be extremely extremely pricey um, so if you want to start the work at home and work your way up to being able to afford an esthetician or even just wanting to spend money on an esthetician period not even necessarily saying that it has to be about affording and not being able to afford one if you guys want to send me DMs on Instagram and I'm going to leave my Instagram here on the screen for you all if you guys want to send me a DM on Instagram of your bare face what your skin concerns are um, what you're trying to treat and pretty much your ultimate goal as far as your skin is concerned if I can help I will definitely make product recommendations especially since I've been in school my friends and my family have been doing it all the time what can I use what can I use is this product good like every day section doesn't feel free to drop your photos in my inbox that information will be confidential i will not share with anyone however if you do take my advice and those recommendations work and you're comfortable with me sharing it i would love for you guys to send me updates so that way i can post them on my profile testimonials because i'm just obsessed with seeing results when it comes down to skincare and i want to help you guys as literally the whole basis behind my youtube channel is being helpful and i do want to let you guys know that even as my channel continues to grow you guys can trust me and count on me that as these brand deals continue to roll in if a brand offers me a deal and a skincare product is not good, I'm not going to push it out to you guys because y'all know now specifically that I'm super ingredient heavy. And if it just doesn't do it for me, it doesn't do it for me. It doesn't matter how much money they're offering me. I would rather give that brand professional advice on the back end versus pushing content out to you guys like other influencers I know on things that don't really work on your skin. So yeah, that is it. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you all so much for all the love and support that you all have been showing my channel. As we continue on this skincare journeys with one another, I hope that we all reach our skincare goals soon and can maintain them. So until next time, I love you guys so much and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.